start of the Methodist University College guide. We will now have the president of the University College, Professor Akwesi Asagre Amelao, addressing us on the state of affairs of the university during the COVID-19 pandemic closure and the way forward. Mm -hmm. The confirmation of cases of COVID 19 situation in Ghana in March 2020 and subsequent presidential order of March 15, 2020 closed all entry points of Ghana and the closure of all institutions of learning and other directives contained the spread of the disease. An early morning meeting of management of March 15, 2020 took positions that were later approved by the Medical Council of that same day. Among the positions were the suspension of measures from 2 p.m. that same day, March 15, 2020, until further notice. Two, the use of digital and other technological means by lectures for teaching and to support other academic engagement. In essence, the academic calendar for 2019-2020 to continue to run. Our foreign students and students from outside Accra were encouraged to stay in their hotels and campus. There were a series of other management meetings, for example, March 18, March 24, and March 26, 2020. In all these meetings, we reiterated the need to use digital and other technological means to teach the academic calendar to continue to run. Rapid assessment of the experiences of COVID-19 and disruption to teacher education globally has exposed many significant short and long-term challenges facing teacher education systems and inclusion. These include diminished resources for tuition, personal and academic challenges for tuition and students, the demand for improved infrastructure to support continued distance and blended learning models. Reduce mobility, facing measures to improve regional and local teacher institutions much more. Issues of equity, infrastructure, broadband capacity, and pedagogic capacity have emerged as challenges in the remote delivery. Other forms of distance learning, from email delivery or return of assignment to flagging mail, TV, radio phones and mobile applications where broadband is limited to independent services are being tried and tested in this massive global experiment with off-site learning potential and modalities. First and foremost, the different times go to all of you for your extraordinary efforts during this extraordinary time. Because of your education, hard work and creativity, we have Let's to continue the core mission of this great institution, advancing knowledge through excellent teaching. Despite the pressure and, and significant disruptions to your professional and home life, we have all performed exceptionally in supporting our students and each other. If there were ever a time to work great and good, this is surely it. And that is precisely what we are being as a community. Because as this period has been, there has also been a time filled with inspiring acts of generosity, ingenuity, and kindness. I use this opportunity to express our profound gratitude to the management of Central Link and Alpha Royal Hostels for keeping our attention to the state during this crisis period. Teaching staff who have been switched to teaching using the staff education group and still staff who were always on standby to take instructions to ensure that the institution run get to be remote. The financial session has been a pressure since the partial shutdown of the institution. Markably, the security staff and the development office have maintained efficiency in the app. The Directorate of Quality Assurance, the Dean of Faculty and Heads of Department 
how seriously and efficiently efficient they are. The rest of modern students are very directly how to provide exceptional services to students on and off campus. We appreciate the director, her deputy, and the other staff. The IT staff have been exceptional. During the long down for cry, the management of the center has provided food items for the essential students who are housed there. We are thankful to our customer, the North and West families have just come to the provision of fast food for residents of the National Center. Mayor Victoria Chega, Mr. Robert Mesa, Mr. Wilson Fashi, and Ms. Abigail Robin meet personal with of food items for students and we appreciate them. We also appreciate the full division of the Department of Social Sciences. All that said, the challenges presented by this crisis are difficult to deliver with. The pandemic has not simply been fulfilling a form which is more difficult, but it has also had and continued to have serious financial consequences for the running of the university college. I'm addressing you today to describe those consequences. The principles that should guide our responses and the immediate steps we are taking to meet these challenges. The university has already suffered major financial losses. As this pandemic continues, we will see additional revenue shortfalls across nearly all categories of funding, particularly in teaching fees. While the full costs are not yet known, they will be huge and will grow over the next few months to the resumption of the invest of the career work today. At the same time, the economy and financial markets will be brought out, and there is a good basis to sustain a sustained economic downturn. For all of those reasons, we are going to have to tighten our doors, just like our organization and universities across the country. We also have to be prepared to absorb additional disruptions to operations and finance, especially if we cannot resume normal operations in this academic year. Although we hope to restart normally in August 2020, it's still too early to know if that will be possible. As always, but especially now, we must be exceptionally good towards of our resources so that we can continue to carry out our core mission and so do we be of service to the entire university community, that is to students, veterans, staff, and all those who serve you depend on this at the same time, we must never forget that the people at the Department of Medical Ghana, that is our faculty, staff, students, remain our biggest task. And will be key to our ability to weather this crisis and recover our strength. With that in mind, we will propose how to guide our actions and decisions during this challenging period. And I ask the cooperation of all to adhere to One, maintain excellence in our core mission. We must try to maintain excellence in our teaching, research, and community engagement. Two, creativity. We must look for new and creative ways to work together efficiently and effectively to conserve our resources and to generate new revenue. This crisis has shown how the fairest and innovative we can be when we work. We must continue in the same spirit. With these principles in mind, on behalf of management, I would like to convey to you the following. There will be a partial resumption of work for many level 24. End of online teaching will be made for the very The work assessment will be ongoing to May for the very The for the end of semester, the nomination will be announced later. Issues of current time in relation to the early communicated to you in your portal. I'm particularly sorry for not communicating this to you earlier than now, but take full responsibility for the last one. Students are encouraged to pay their fees for the university college degree in the world. Penalty for late registration has been waived for students who will be able to pay their fees before they go to college. In addition to the above, Monica has decided further on the following. One, hiring fees. There will be a force in investment wise hiring unless an exception is made and approved by management. Two, after two years. 
The investment proceeds only with Qatar projects that have already been provided for. And three, expense reduction. All of the essential expenses will be cut or related. These are the chances of how the university begins to address the office of the fiscal issues facing us. Management will also look to the deans and heads of the department to take the steps necessary to safeguard the needs for us, ensure their financial health, and seek out opportunities for it, allocation and efficiency that will strengthen their system. We will continue to review our finances and operations over the coming weeks and months. And we will communicate to you about any additional steps we must take, as well as the rationale for those decisions. We expect the first we are applying here to help us mitigate the immediate impact of the pandemic and to carry us through the short term. Once those decisions are made, we will necessarily reassess our situation. These are not decisions to make lightly. As you know, they will be disruptive and difficult. But we are in a period of shared sacrifice with more challenges ahead. We will meet these challenges by focusing on our core mission, by doing our best to support one another, and by continuing to look for creative solutions. Challenges ahead are daunting, but we are confident that if we act quickly and responsibly and in accordance with us, our principles and the aspiration, our university college, and the shared mission that we left up with the purpose for the college. COVID-19 is real. It's much about you. If you want to save yourself, and stop the spread of it. Observe the leader for the call to stay safe. You don't deceive, and you don't deceive yourself. Thank you again for all that you are doing. Just an honor to stand on the side.